Noble Seal crack isolation membranes. Tile is one of the most durable types of floor covering available. It easily outlasts carpet, vinyl and hardwood. Some installations have lasted for centuries. The methods used for it in times past involved separating the tile surface from the subfloor or substrate. A thousand years ago, installers installed tile over a bed of sand. In the mid-1900s, a reinforced mortar bed, which is a mixture of Portland cement and sand about one and a half inch thick and reinforced with two inch by two inch wire was used. The bed was installed over concrete with a cleavage membrane separating the mortar bed from the concrete. Mortar beds or sand layers separated tile from the substrate below and allowed for differences in movement in the substrate and the tile. While it may not be apparent, tile does move. Environmental conditions like temperature and humidity affect tile and can cause it to move. These forces can become extremely strong and allowances for lateral movement are essential to a successful tile installation. Forces created by movement in the tile field are further aggravated by differences in movement in the substrate below. Concrete can crack up to 1 16th of an inch in 10 feet as it cures. And plywood expands and contracts with variations in temperature and humidity. Tile must be installed over a flat, structurally sound substrate. Deficiencies must be addressed prior to installing tile. The ceramic and stone tile industries publish their individual requirements for maximum allowable deflection. In essence, the substrate must be strong enough to support the total weight of the installation and its service needs. While mortar or sand beds provide the requisite separation, there are inherent problems. For example, they are relatively heavy, they add height to the floor and are time-consuming to install. As construction schedules compressed, faster and easier techniques were needed. In answer to this need, the Tile Council of North America developed a thin bed method of installation in the 1960s. The thin bed method is a cementitious adhesive that allows tile to be bonded directly to a substrate. Thin bed or thin set methods made tiling faster and easier and allowed for significant growth in the use of tile in residential and commercial construction. However, Thin bed methods did not separate the subfloor from tile on the surface and the direct bonding allows for the transfer of forces from subfloor to the tile. So when a concrete floor cracks, that force is telegraphed to the tile, causing it to crack. Even hairline cracks of 1 32nd of an inch can cause cracking. Noble Company was one of the first with an answer to this problem. In 1984, they introduced Noble Seal TS a composite sheet membrane that provided waterproofing and crack isolation for thin bed tile installations. Noble Seal TS is made from chlorinated polyethylene CPE, with a non-woven fiber laminated to both sides. The fiber provides a bondable surface so the membrane can be bonded to a substrate and tile can be bonded to the other side. The CPE membrane in the middle provides elasticity and relieves the stress caused by differences in movement in the tile field and in the substrate below. CPE is impervious and an extremely effective barrier to water and vapor. It's not affected by variations in temperature and is resistant to a broad range of chemicals. CPE is also so durable, Noble Company can guarantee that it will last the life of the original tile installation. Installing Noble Seal under tile relieves the stress caused by differences in movement in the tile field and the substrate, which helps protect tile from cracking. However, tile installations must include allowances for movement in the tile field. The TCNA handbook spells out their recommendations for movement joints in detail EJ171. Installation of Noble Seal protects tile from cracking and also allows tile to bridge control joints in concrete substrates. This allows tile patterns to be preserved, offering tile setters or decorators greater creativity and flexibility in designs. The TCNA handbook shows two methods of installation for crack isolation membranes. Partial coverage involves installing membrane only over the cracks or joints. This method may be suitable as long as the concrete does not crack in other areas. Full coverage requires crack isolation membrane under all the tile. 
It provides more assurance that future cracks in the concrete will not affect tile performance. Noble Seal is not the only crack isolation membrane. Terms like crack suppression, anti-fracture, and uncoupling membranes are used to describe products. There are some test data that should be considered when comparing products. ASTM C627, called the Robinson Floor Test, is actually a tile service rating. It provides a rating system of five levels, from residential to extra heavy. While not really a measure of substrate movement, it does provide information about the effect of compressibility of a component in the system. It would not be advantageous to add a compressible membrane in a tile installation. ANSI A118.12 is the standard for crack isolation membranes. The standard measures a variety of performance areas such as shear bond, resistance to microorganisms, important to avoid mold growth, and perhaps the most important element, performance. System crack resistance is a measure of the membrane's ability to prevent tile from cracking when the substrate moves. There are two levels of performance. Standard performance requires the membrane to protect tile when the substrate separates more than 1 16th inch. High performance requires the membrane to prevent cracking when the substrate is opened more than 1 8 inch. All Noble Seal sheets have been tested to ANSI A118.12 and are rated high performance. And all Noble Seal sheets are rated extra heavy in Robinson floor tests. This provides the assurance that you are getting the best possible protection for your custom tile installation.